Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Cars and Stars. We are live at the 2017 Buffalo Auto Show Charity Preview Party here inside the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center. I'm Jeff Russo. And I'm Ashley Rowe. Yes, it is all about giving back to Western New York tonight. But first, let's talk about the buzz. It's all about performance. It's all about fuel economy. It's all about those self-driving cars. Yes, to Here, you're going to see the classics. You're going to see some comebacks, and you're going to see some custom cars cars as well. For a preview, let's see the highlights from the North American International Auto Show. Mercedes-Benz showed off its new E-Class Coupe with a 9-speed automatic transmission. Audi took the top down on the S5 Cabriolet for the first time in North America and showed off the ultra-luxury Q8 concept in Bombay Blue. And Lexus debuted the fifth generation LS with a twin turbo V6 engine. Kia sizzled with the world premiere of the sleek and sporty Stinger hatchback. It clocks zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds. This is Volkswagen. couldn't get enough of the electrified autonomous minibus of the future. Ford tweaked and teased this year, showing off a facelift on the F-150 and announcing the comeback of the beloved Bronco and the Ranger. The ability to bring it back uh, is just a response to consumer demand. We're on websites, all the letters we get, all the emails we get, there's just a lot of pent-up demand for a product like that with that, with that name and that, and that history. Chevy unwrapped a 2018 Traverse, an SUV with plenty of leg room and space for your cargo. The Traverse that we're replacing was nine years old, so it was time. Um, and we're excited because we've been able to maintain our sales volume right through those nine years and created an extremely loyal customer base. So now is the right time. We've listened to those customers. We've got a big customer base. We've listened to those customers. And we've delivered what we believe is the segment leading product. And they debuted a restyled 2018 GMC Terrain Crossover SUV. All right, thank you very much. So much goes into the auto show each and every year. And the man behind it all joins us now, Paul Stasiak. He is the president of the NFADA. Paul, so much going on over the next several days. But tonight, it really is all about the charities here. Tonight. Our favorite night of the year in Buffalo for us, for the auto industry. We have a chance to give back and show people what what the auto industry is all about. Really punch up a bunch of local charities here tonight as well. Yeah, we'll have eight, eight charities today. I'll get recognized. And, uh, you know, we, we, we've made this a process to really give back to Western New York. And today's the culmination of a lot of work by a lot of people to make uh, this a reality. Paul's a very modest guy, everybody. <laughs> but I think it's worth noting just how much money has gone back into Western New York from this event. Well, we, we hope it's near a million. Let's put it that way. Near a million dollars going right back into Western New York organizations. Organizations. Okay, we're standing in front of the Seven First Alert Mobile Weather Lab, which we're pretty excited about. I know a lot of people are excited about all of the new bells and whistles that are coming with some of the new vehicles here. Tell us what we can expect at the auto show this year. Glitz, glamour, speed, <laughs> eye candy, performance, economy, family vehicles, stuff for kids. I mean, we try to package it all, and mm -hmm. I think today you're getting a little feel for the high end of it. But uh, throughout the, the week, people with families can, can come to the state of state police and check their, you know, their, their child seats and learn about distracted driving and get an education, talk to DMV. So it's an educational process, not just a visual process. Let's talk about the vehicle that is currently on its way to the <laughs> yes, auto fantasy show. fantasy cars galore here and the one that's coming is yeah, going to be an iTerm. We, we expect it tonight or tomorrow, an Alfa Romeo right off the dock, right from Italy. It's an Alfa Romeo Giulia. Probably might be saying it wrong, Giulia. <laughs> but uh, it's something that I look for to at least get into because I haven't been in it yet, so. Fantastic. Paul Stasiak, thank you very much thank for joining much us. Mark. Congratulations. All you do for this community. Thank you. Thank you very well, much. Well, when we look around the auto show this year in this convention center, thanks, Paul, we are reminded of the many Western New Yorkers who really have a direct impact on the quality of many of these vehicles. AM Buffalo's Linda Pellegrino checked out GM's Tonawana engine plant number five to see what just goes into it. 
Here at the Vulcan Street location, it's all about the engine. Four cylinders, 2.5 liters, and 2.0 turbos. The growl of so many GM models. Two shifts of skilled union labor are proud of the quality and quantity of engines they produce. Team leader Rhonda Miller explains. Here in Team 4, we put on the balance shaft. This is the start of our team right here. We also put on the oil pan here, which gets our TV port on it, and we go down a little further. We put on an oil cooler and a flex plate. With a new investment of $334 million for the Tonawanda, Lockport, and Rochester plans, staff can be retained and expanded, and the jobs are done differently than in years past. Gary Yarns is a shift leader it here. It's uh, very important because safety is an overriding priority here, and uh, it prevents people from having repetitive injuries or anything like that, and keeps them a little sharper on the job, too. Also gives a fresh set of eyes for quality issues, too. If someone ro rotates into a new job, they can see if something's different than normal. Gary, what exactly? Uh, are they doing? What are they working on? On this particular team, they're uh, dressing the engine a little. They're putting a cam cover on the engine. They're adding uh, water pump, vacuum pumps onto the engine here before it goes into test areas. Gary, what do you think people would be surprised about for the folks who are working here at this plant and the level of quality that they're turning out? Level of quality is fantastic. We're at benchmark levels right now for our throughput and for quality. And uh, I think people would be really surprised on four cylinders how, uh, how much power they really have. And the Vulcan Street plant is the first ever to use this machine. The head subassembly smart cell installs 96 parts in 68 seconds. With so much new technology in today's vehicles, GM Tonawanda Engine Plant Number 5 and its hundreds of skilled UAW workers are ensured a busy and successful future. All right, thank you very much, Lindy. And you know, the next generation of car experts here in Western New York is looking pretty promising. Mm -hmm. A team from the Kenton Career and Technical Center is now heading to New York City after winning the Ron Smith Memorial Auto Tech Competition that happened just last month. Yeah, this contest brings together the top students from career and tech centers right across the region. Now, all this took place at Erie Community College, and our very own Dave Thompson reports the top prize, a $1,000 scholarship. 40 of Western New York's top automotive technology students competed in the Ron Smith Memorial Auto Tech Competition at the Erie Community College Vehicle Technology Training Center. Juniors took part in the tire changing competition, while seniors competed in a variety of different stations intended to test their automotive knowledge and simulate the daily challenges they will face in a professional setting. We simulate what it is to work in a dealership and these kids are competing with an opportunity to get college scholarships and basically jobs in their next life. Former competitors were also on hand to see the competition and network with industry professionals. It's a, it's a great way to, for one, make connections uh, with people in the industry and for another it gives you a taste of what real life issues are like on vehicles. The competition is also a great opportunity for employers to recruit talented young mechanics in an industry that finds many major employers at a hiring deficit. We are in desperate need of technicians. Our industry is, you know, you, uh, uh, one of these students could get hired tomorrow. Uh, without any question, without any reservation. And these 40 mechanics represent hundreds of students in the programs across Western New York who upon graduation will help to keep your cars running in the future. Well, congratulations to those students. Hey, stay right there. So much still ahead here tonight. Yes, when we come back, we're going to show you how Ford is battling the elements. Don't go away. Over 1,100 sales personnel and managers from over 80 dealerships staff this year's Buffalo Auto Show. 